Hi everyone, I have a very, very exciting package here to open um, with you. And while I'm opening up this envelope, I just want to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers. Hang on, just make a loud noise. Um, last night I passed a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel and that was very, very exciting for me. So thank you so much to everyone that subscribed. Oh, gosh, I'm fighting. And inside here, we have this lovely, lovely book. Now, there isn't much light here, but look how beautiful that cover is. So pretty. And I'm going to do a flip through um, of it, of course, um, for you so we can have a look at it together. Now this is um, has just arrived. I obviously haven't, I've only just unpacked it, so I haven't seen it myself. I've looked at um, other flip throughs, but uh, I wanted to have a go and have a look at it myself. So here we go. So normally um, UK versions, this is the UK version of the book, hence the spelling and the white cover, um, have a dust sheet, a uh, dust cover, sorry. This one doesn't, it has this um, French flap as they call it, which is exactly the same as the US edition. Um, and it has these lovely pictures. I recognize these two were in Flourish, but these are quite different, I love this. It's great fun. And inside the flat we have this sort of wallpapery type design which has repeating patterns. So we've got a fish here and a fish here. And we've got this sort of butterfly here and here and hot air balloons and things like that. Those are really gorgeous. I don't know if these pictures are from inside the book or not. We'll find out, won't we? And here we have the lovely title page with more hot air balloons. And a lovely heart of flowers, which says welcome. That's really, really lovely. And this is the pay piece that I always do first. I always fill in the title, the nameplate, because then it's, then it's my book and I feel like I can um, get on. That's quite a lovely, um, simple, quick one to do, which uh, might be attractive. It means I can then get on with the rest of the book because I always do this one and uh, it's sort of anxious to move on with the rest. So here are the two introduction pages. I'm not going to read them out, um, but we have a lovely leafy design around each of them, which is very pretty. So those could be coloured, maybe do something inside as well. And here we have um, floating islands. Well, we've got a little house here on a balloon. I know it's slightly cut off. I can move it a little bit. There we go. And we have a larger one joined to this one. I love this washing on the line here, the little whale. And then we have some separate ones here. I love a lighthouse. And I'm thinking, you know, what do we do here? Do we do a background like a sky? Are they in the sky? I'm not sure. I have to have a think. Now this design here I recognise from Flourish. Um, I'm sure this floral design was there, but this time there were, there's a bunch of lovely houses on top. This is gorgeous. I love elephants. It's a really nice, simple design as well. Needn't do a background because white would be appropriate if he's floating in the air. So I think that's lovely. <clears throat> and here we have a bird on a house. I don't think that key is going to fit in that front door, but never mind. That's a very cute um, picture. And I can imagine how brightly coloured this beautiful bird could be. And we have a more. Um, Houses and trees, I think that's a great fun. It's very different to um, anything we've seen before from Johanna. Maybe um, closest would be the gingerbread houses in the Christmas book. I think they're adorable. And we have some peacocks here. These are very different to the peacocks we've had in previous books and I think they're really great fun. We have some cherries. I love the idea of colouring some cherries and some strawberries. And this um, lovely castle type looking building which looks great fun. And this is a sort of one of these that looks like it perhaps is on a plate. And uh, a circular floral one. I know a lot of people really enjoy these. There's a lot of repetition. It's, uh, you know, a limited colour palette can uh, make that look really lovely. 
We have a bicycle with floral wheels. I love that. Again, a simple one. You could draw in a road, something behind, or just leave it plain as it is. And the horse with this uh, lovely building on top. Mm, that's lovely. Johanna's been colouring this one in some of her lives as she has these little houses in bottles, which again are very cute, um, really lovely. I'm thinking as I'm flipping through where I'm going to start once I've done the title page and I've really got no idea. These pages were in Flourish, so I've coloured all of Flourish, so I've done these before. So it's likely that I would leave the ones that have been in Flourish um, for a little bit later. But I love this um, this steampunk shark. He's fabulous. And of course you could draw in other fish, um, reeds, treasure chest, um, all sorts of sea things, or just a bluey sea background with bubbles, anything like that, or just leave it plain. You know, there's lots of options there. This one calls more for a background because we've got all this detail underneath. So we've got the sea, we've got these amazing tower of buildings. Reminds me of those houses where people use secondhand materials and make all their windows look different and things like that. <laughs> I think it's fabulous fun. Ah, and the famous candy cart with cakes and all sorts of naughties on there. Oh, there are some apples though. A little bit of healthiness there for us so that's great fun and look it's this looks very similar to the other bird on there and I love the giraffe he's just so random and so cute and we have all the cakes now Johanna's been coloring these as well in some of her lives so uh, they're great fun to do and quite small so just a little one each day or something could be quite a nice thing to do if you haven't got a lot of time the same with this page it's you could just do a little bit of each house each day you could draw in a road you know, um, do some sky or just leave it plain. I like it. And a little flower cart there. It's really, really cute. And here we have a windmill on top of an island in a sort of fish bowl, which is really interesting. I don't, I, my imagination would never go there. I think it's such fun. We have a sort of manta ray fish, I think that must be. That's lovely, a little bit different. We've not had fish like this to colour before. And this one, we have a lot of um, sea going on here. Looks very choppy, doesn't it? But a beautiful palace -y type building there. And there's little windows with curtains in all the way at the bottom. For me, and me, that looks like a restaurant car on a train. I don't know why. And we have a plate of veggies. See if my favourites are here. We've got a lovely blackberry. I love colouring those. Mushroom. Look at that oyster mushroom. Uh, turnip, I'm assuming that is. Um, mm, lots of fun in there. Gooseberries, I think. Although that's an oak leaf. Mm, there's a pomegranate. I'm going to have to uh, look up some of these, I think. I don't know what that is. Hmm interesting well, that's going to be fun i think that might be a raspberry and that might be a blackberry mm, great fun i'm in, looking forward to that page and trying to do something a bit different with that and this page is gorgeous it really looks quite different to johanna's normal pages somehow we've got these lovely lemons and beautiful flowers now i don't know what color flowers you get on a lemon tree so i have to do some research there before i do that page but i i can see this with a a sort of sky blue background I don't know I, I want to have a go at that one this is another one from Flourish I actually saw a version of this on um, Instagram this morning which is absolutely gorgeous and made me think I want to have a go at doing that again soon so that's a nice one and this one is really lovely I like the frame and the fact that just a few pieces come out of the frame and it just looks like a really inviting little cottage and we have a swirl of sea. Now what I like about this is although it's quite lost ocean-like, the details aren't quite as tiny as in that book. So for me it's a lot more appealing to dive in on that one. And this one is really cute as well. We have this little wigwam house and look, there's cake, sugar, teapots. So it's all ready to sit in and have a cup of afternoon tea. So I think that's gorgeous. And this um, gumball machine 
with uh, these gorgeous flowers in. I think those, I'm looking forward to seeing people colour those. I think they'll look really, really lovely. And this one is really interesting. So we have the aeroplane with all sorts of uh, sort of swirly patterns coming out of it. And uh, it's thinking about what you do with the rest of the page here. Do you just colour that bit? Or do you go in with sky and clouds and things? I'm not sure. I have to give that one a lot of thought, I think. And these, I absolutely love these birds. I've done them twice already, I think. Some of them and done some as birthday cards for people and things like that so they're gorgeous I can't wait to have another go and do something a little bit different and alongside we've got these lovely lovely houses on on stems on flower stems I think these are interesting and I'm thinking do I do the flowers say if I do those flowers pink do I do that house pink purple flowers purple house or do I do all the houses matching and the flowers different colors there's a lot of uh, interesting thoughts going on in my head with that one. Now, this is a lot more of a detailed island. We've got these flying fish, which are quite fun. Um, and we've got um, palm trees and a giraffe. So it's quite tropical, but we've got a duck. So uh, that's really cool. I like that one. And this is quite simple. And I, that appeals to me as well, thinking, you know, we've got this background, but do we just do it plain with the stars or something a bit different? And it's quite fun, that. It'd be interesting. And this owl, he is gorgeous. Or she? He, she? Not sure. Lovely flowers. Really, really cute. Look at those eyes. They're going to be such fun to colour. And we've got this sort of house here. It's, it looks a bit Tudor style or slightly Barney like a barn I mean you know I think that's fun now when I first saw this house didn't this picture I didn't take a lot of notice of it because I've looked at Johanna's um, flip through but looking at it closely these little buildings they're so gorgeous I think it's going to be such a fun one to colour but look at this scale look how big this flower is and this flower is compared to the size of this tree it's like a mini tree I think it's great fun and this is another one from Flourish, which I have already coloured. So uh, I'll have a go about at that again. It's lovely. Now this page, now I've done quite a lot of videos on some of these from Flourish, but some of them are different. See, that's the same, but these letters are different. And we didn't have this circus tent. The bottles were there and the lovely snail and this floral one and this and this but these fish look a bit different we didn't have the balloon the ship in the bottles changed a bit that's changed a bit because he had a longer body that one is new that one is still there i love that one and that one and we've got a new house so that's quite interesting so what i may do is some tutorials coloring tutorials for the ones that aren't uh, different than the ones that were in flourish I think they might be fun because they're nice and small. Now I love this um, style of this one. I think it's quite intriguing. What are the fish doing up there? Is this underwater or are they flying in the sky? I don't know, but I think it's great fun. Now this is another one from Flourish. I'm just looking at it carefully. I'm pretty sure it's the same and I loved doing that one. So it will be great fun to have another go at it. Now this one is such a challenging page I feel there's so much detail going on in the page but I think it's going to be really interesting we've got I think it's going to be a case with this one to deal with a little bit at a time so the rabbit these flowers these flowers this boat you know don't try and look at the page as a whole just do little bits and pieces and I was also thinking for background wise you could do it differently so you've got a bit of sky here but under here you would have a different colour and maybe a different colour behind that and here so you could tackle each little bit separately it could be quite fun and this is a pretty one it's another sort of repeating floral design with some butterflies this time I rather like that one and these are little ones to tackle so again they could make good little mini tutorials for some of these or some are quite similar this flower looks similar to this one and this one, but then there are differences as well. So I think that's going to be quite good fun to have a look at. Oh, I can't get the page turned over. Oh, we have our swan here. 
Now that's very elegant and beautiful and such an interesting pattern going on behind. So lots of, lots of things to think about I think with that one as to how to colour that. And this one's really pretty. To me that looks like a moth, not a butterfly. I don't know why I think that, but I think it's really, really pretty. And all these lovely bordery parts as well make it really interesting. Oh, and we have our strawberries. Who doesn't love strawberries? Yum. And the cat. I know a lot of people really like this little cat. To me, I think she's beautiful, but I worry a bit about what to do with that background. But maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just have a go at the cat and, and leave the background. Or another possibility is just to do a little bit of background just around here and not go all the way to the edge of the page. So that or do a little bit of pastel just around the edge and leave this bit empty just to make it a little bit less daunting. Now this one Johanna's been colouring in her lives as well. I think it's great fun. I would never think of having a fish towing a bottle of toadstools. I mean, who? Who thinks like that? <laughs> it's I love the border and how it works well with the rest of the picture. It's just fabulous. Now we have a lot of interesting sweet treats on this page. I love the, whoops, trifle and lemonade, fruit and jelly, sweets and knickerbocker glory, lollies, donuts, another ice creamy type thing that looks like a latte cup, a cupcake, another sundae and another sundae. Wow. We really are going to be craving sweet things colouring this. I might have to buy some chocolate before I do this page. <laughs> and this is another lovely little cup, but look at that cat. So adorable. And we have another um, building on top of a little floral display here. That's really pretty. I like that. Really interesting flowers to colour and a lovely building as well. And this sort of wreath, so we can put pop something in the middle. I'm not very confident in drawing. What I tend to do is trace something and pop it in there. Or um, you could just colour it or leave it empty. Okay. okay, oops. Page doesn't want to turn. Well, this is an interesting page. Look, we've got lots of different houses in different styles, which I think is great fun. And uh, again, these could make good little tutorials for some of these, so I'll have a think about that. Um, trying to make sure that I don't do any of them too similarly to each other so they look a bit different, give you some different ideas. I think we haven't had many, I haven't done any tutorials on buildings, I don't think so. That could be fun. Now, I understand this is a picture that Johanna's daughter um, asked her to draw, so it's quite fun the house being towed away by balloons. Um, I think it's rather sweet and it's just again this one with the background needs doing so it's thinking about what to do with that as well as actually doing the house and the balloons there is a lot of background in there but I'm thinking I might have to get my pastels out on that one to make it a little bit easier uh, he is absolutely gorgeous he's got a lovely little tent on his back sort of Moroccan style I suppose I think it's lovely and I think this just calls for so much bright colour in there I mean I don't know, quite know what colour I would what colour camels are really um not exact shades I'd have to google that and look it up on a search engine not necessarily google not advertising google so here we go buildings with floral underneath and lovely stars it's a bit more of a regular star pattern behind there almost like it's a sort of wallpaper I think that's quite fun we have all these little staircases and things going on so we've got something quite different to colour on those buildings and here we have the bus now Johanna has coloured this ticket page in her lives which you've probably seen but the bus she spoke about the fact in one of her lives that this bit here is was supposed to be a windmill and she forgot to draw in the, um, uh, whatever they're called, the, the, the pieces of the windmill. So um, someone will tell me in the comments later what it's called. So what I'm intending on doing, there's a windmill earlier, is tracing that one and see if it's the right size to, to fit into there. Because as I say, I'm not confident at drawing, so I'm going to trace it. 
and here are the gorgeous tickets which you've probably seen if you've watched Johanna's lives and this one is so attractive I don't know about you but I love colouring mushrooms toadstools that sort of thing so this is a really attractive page to me to do this lovely it's almost a little jumble of different houses I think it's fabulous and this one is let's see we've got an island with a tent and trees and then we've got a dark sky so these would be lights that would need to shine in the dark sky so that'll be a challenge and that'll be fun we've got a little tiny lantern there as well now i like the border on this one you can see all the way around slightly off the page and uh, we've got this lovely old looking tree with a castle in i think that's really great fun now we have another underwater one. When I saw, seen other people slip through, I thought this looked quite similar to the other underwater one, but looking at it close, it really is quite different. The, um, the sort of plants and fish and everything and the building, they're all quite different and the boat, so it's, it's gonna be quite a different page to do. And this one is rather fun. We've got uh, a really interesting island with a little bit of water and a boat at the bottom. And this one is a um, really interesting concept as well. So we've got a little bowl of fish on a tree stump with a boat in. Very, very interesting. Um, I love this style of boat. It's gorgeous. So uh, that'll be fun to do. And uh, we have another, th we have three different houses here. Having a look at them. They're all very high rise, aren't they? Very tall and thin, a bit like my house. And the last one here, this was in Flourish, but I've noticed Johanna's changed it up a bit. She's added some stars. I'm sure there weren't stars in it. And the butterflies are a bit different as well, I think. So um, it'll be a little bit different. I'll have to try and think of a different way to colour that. And here on the colour palette test page, we have the circus tent and the pretty bottle there. And we have a house and the flowers. And then here we have the same, um, the same inserty type page as on the front. And actually, now I've looked through the book and I'm looking at these pictures, I don't think I saw them exactly like this inside. Um, similar, but not the same. I think they are unique pictures to the uh, to this, so they'll be interesting. Of course, it's always interesting colouring on the cover because it's a little bit different. Um, I don't always do it or sometimes I do it in pen so that'll be fun and then here we have um, a list of all of um, Johanna's different books um, well actually a selection of them um, some of her earlier ones aren't there so that's interesting and here on the back now this back cover I think yeah it's the same as the front you can see it better without the metallic on it we've got a house and this uh, store called Heron, not sure, other houses, toadstools and things in the balloon. So this is a different design to any that we've got inside. So uh, it might be fun to colour that. Uh, might be colouring on the front, I think, is always quite tricky because of the foil. But uh, have a go at the back. I'm not very good at colouring covers, but we'll see what happens. So there we go. There's the book. So uh, I hope you like it. Um, I haven't, I got this book early. Um, I ordered it and it came early. I shall put some links in the description of where I bought the book because um, it wasn't from Amazon. But I'll also put a link to Amazon because I know some people prefer. Amazon's probably cheaper, but I wanted to get it early so I was happy to pay a little bit more money. So I'll put the links in so that you can have a look and uh, if you haven't already pre-ordered it. But uh, there we go. So thank you for watching and happy colouring.